boys and girls. All right, today we're going to do our math lesson. So we're going to start up here in this corner. Let me pull it up for you here. Today we're going to be talking about adding to 20 and numbers that add to 20. So the first thing we're going to look at here are some of our double 10 frame cards. And you'll remember our 10 frame cards from before. So if you look at the top, how many black dots do we see in the top here? Very good. You should know real fast, that's 10 at the top right there. It's all full. We have 10. Then we have some blue dots down here. So we're going to count on. We have 10, 11, 12, 13 showing on this card. Now, if I fill all these boxes up here, that's going to give me 20. Okay, so both of these together, you should have a 10 frame here and a 10 frame here. So all together, we would have 20. So my question to you is if I have 13, dots here. How many more would I need to get me to 20? So let's write an equation to show that. So my equation to show that would be this. We would have 13 plus something is going to give me 20. Okay. So let's take a look at this tens frame. We want to see how many more to get us to 20. We need to look at these empty boxes here. So how many empty boxes do I have to get me to 20? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 7. So I can see that 13 plus 1 is going to give me 7. All right, let's look at another one here. So let me get rid of my pen for a minute. Okay, on this tens frame, this double 10 frame, how many do I have in this top row? Very good. I have 10. You should very quickly be able to tell me that I have 10. How many more do I need to get me to 20? Very good. You should see the whole bottom row is empty there, which means I need a whole row of 10 to fill that up and to give me 20. So 10 plus 10 is going to give me 20. Nice job. I would need 10 more to give me 20 there. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, first I want you to take a minute and look at how many are there. Okay, well I can quickly see that the top row is 10. Okay, so we have 10 in the top. I can see there's 5 here, so that's 15, and one more is 16. So my question is, how many more do I need to get to 20? 16 plus what? is going to get me to 20. How many empty boxes do we have? Very good, we have four empty boxes. So my equation would be 16 plus four equals 20. Nice job, guys. All right, let's look at the next one. How many do I have there? Good. If you're looking at this now, you should be able to see the top. There's two ways to look at this, actually. The top is 10, right? We know that automatically, that we have 10 because we have a full row. Then we can count on, or we can know this is 5 for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Or I can see that just one box is missing from my full 20, which means there would be 19 here, okay? So I have 19 plus how many more gives me 20? One, very good. All right, nice job with that, friends. Okay, so now that we've had some practice adding to 20, we're gonna head on down this way, and we're gonna look at some double flap cards. You remember having some double flap cards earlier in the year when we revealed a number, and those numbers equal different things. So today, this pair of double flap cards 
is going to equal 13, okay? So we know these are going to equal 13, okay? So let's look under our first card here. How many black dots do you see under this first card? Good, you should see six. Okay, so if I have six, how many white dots are going to be under my other card to give me a total of 13? So think about that for a minute. Six plus what is going to give me 13? You can use your fingers to count on. All right, let's check you. So let's look under this one. How many white dots do you see? Good. There's seven. Six plus seven equals 13. Nice job. Okay, we're going to do another one here. So I'm going to cover these back up. We still want 13. If I show you this set first, how many was my white dots? How many were there? Seven. Good. Seven plus what gives me 13? How many black dots do I need to give me a total of 13? Very good. It was six. Nice job. So let's uncover that. We had six there for my total of 13. Remember, this is called our commutative property, where we're just flipping those numbers around, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you another question this time. Let me cover these back up. This time I want you to start with a number 13. Okay, so if I have 13 total and I take away or subtract 6, okay? So I want you to take away 6 now. So I have 13, sorry, hang on. Okay, we have 13 total here. That's our 13, okay? We want to take away six. How many are left? So we have 13 minus six equals, very good, it's seven, nice job. Okay, so what if we start with 13 and this time we take away seven? Good, it's six. So my equation would be 13 minus seven equals six. Nice job, friends. And if you look what we have here, we have a facts family, our fact family for 13 of six and seven. So we have six plus seven is 13, seven plus six is 13, 13 minus six is seven, and 13 minus seven is six. We were able to make that fact family of six, seven, and 13. Nice job, guys. Way to go. All right, let's look at another one of these now. Let me go to my next page. Okay. All right, so this time, we want to get to the number 19, okay? So 19 is the number we're looking for. So let's start by adding. So if I go and I uncover one of these, how many dots do you see there? Very good. We have a nine there. Okay, so we have nine. Nine plus how many more is going to give me 19? How many white dots do you think there's going to be? Nine plus what is going to give me 19? Okay, if you guessed 10, you were correct, all right? So there's 10 white dots there. So 9 plus 10 equals 19. Very good. So now, if I cover these back up, right, we need a total of 19. This time I'm going to start with my 10. 10 plus what gives me 19? What did we cover back up? Very good. 9. 10 plus 9 equals 19. We're just doing that commutative property there. Okay. 
Okay, now let's look at this for a subtraction. If I start with 19 and I take away 9, right? So 19 minus 9 leaves me with what? What do you still see? What's left? Very good, 10. Okay, now let's do it the other way. If we start with 19, I take away 10, what's left? Very good, 9. So my equation for that would say 19 minus 10 equals 9. Nice job, boys and girls. That was excellent. All right, let's go to our last one here. Whoops. Even these up here. So this time, we're going to get to a total of 16. Okay, so my total number here is going to be 16. So I want you to be thinking about what number you need to add, but also what my equation needs to look like. So I know that needs 16. So how many do you see here? Very good, there's seven. How many more do I need from seven to get to 16? If you guessed nine, let's see what your guess was. How many do we have here? Good, we have nine. Seven plus nine equals 16, great job. Okay, now let's do it the other way. Whoops. I'm going to show you 9. 9 plus what gives me 16? Very good. 7, that's our commutative property again. 9 plus 7 equals 16. Okay, let's try another one with subtraction this time. If I have a total of 16 and I take away 7, what do I have left? Very good. I have 9. And if I have a total of 16 and I take away 9, what do I have left? Very good. I have 7. So 16 minus 9 equals 7. All right. Good job today, boys and girls. We're going to keep working with these math facts to 20. See you next time.